Hi everyone, welcome back to Fishing Planet, the game that is slowly taking over my life. Uh, we're here, back on the muddy river. As you can see, it's almost 10 to 7 in the morning, day one of one. And I'll show you, uh, we're, we're, we're fishing here, last songs of summer. And if you can look at the, uh, the weather forecast, it's going to be a sunny day today. And the peak fish rush hour is going to be about 6... Well, it's just gone actually. It was about six o'clock, so we're now coming up to seven o'clock. Um, or was that supposed to be seven o'clock? Maybe. Maybe we're, we're we're pretty much there. It doesn't matter. Uh, and what we're going to go for today? Let's have a look in my keep net. What I've caught this morning? Boom! Largemouth bass. Look at all those beauties. I've been using the uh, third of an ounce um, silver and gold casting spoons. Nice XP. Um, Fourteen, thirteen, fifteen and um, they're the monies that we will get for them as well. I've, I've had to um, free a few and release a few young uns back into the river because obviously it's uh, it fills my net up and uh, you don't get as much XP and money for them etc etc. Okay let's stop waffling on and go in. So I'm using the uh, the silver uh, third ounce uh, spoon you can see dongling at the end of my rod giggity uh, and I'm going to cast between the boats, not that far, about, not quite up to the boats, probably about there. And I'm going to try and do a stop and go, and all that is, watching the float, and then just stopping and go with the reel on the retrieval, and it just acts like a little fish darting about on the way back. You get a nice, get a nice flow. Whoops, too high and try and attract one of the bass. See bass fishing is probably easier on a hot day in the mornings and the evenings. Uh, I've been told during a cloudy overcast day, let's reel that in, midday fishing is probably best for them, that's when they're more active on, a, on an overcast day. But on a sunny day, mornings and evenings, and of course we're using a shiny um, lure which obviously works best when it is shiny because it reflects the light and this is a mucky old stream as well in the typical I was fish after fish after fish and now that I switched the uh, recorder on nothing unbelievable I tell you what, you switch the recorder on and all of a sudden nothing happens. Nothing. They just vacate. I know we probably have just... Oh, we should still be in a really good um, activity set, um, time for the fish, so it's not that. Come on, where are you? Sorry, I do want to let it hit the bottom. There we go. There we go. We got something. Okay. So let's let it. Ooh, ooh, tension. Come on. Come here, bug. Let him wear himself out a little bit. Bring him into the shore. Whoop. There you go. He went airborne. Here he comes. Try and keep him out of the. Uh... Whee! Come on, you little bugger. He's got plenty of fight in him. No, don't you go in those reeds. Here he goes. Largemouth bass, 1.753 pounds. That's not a bad one. Uh, 13 XP. We'll keep him for now. There you go. So that. There we go. Angling achievement. Angling machine one. Perform certain amount of successful fish catches in a row. Thank you. That's got me 5 XP, $25, and 0 golds. Which is pretty cool. Let's go a bit more bass fishing. I do like cat trying to catch the fish. Now that I've figured out how to get this lure working correctly. There is different techniques. This is the stop go, obviously, because we're just stopping and going with the real retrieval. This has been the most successful uh, technique I have used. The stop and go. There we go, another one. Ooh, 
Come on. Wheel you in. Ooh. This one's going to come a lot easier. There we go. I see young largemouth bass. Only 0.8 of a pass. We'll, we'll let that go back. Um, I think I keep nets full anyway. We'll give it one more go to show this technique and uh, <laughs> and I'm on a bit of a roll so I'm just going to show off a little bit if I can, if you can call it showing off. So yeah, stop and go technique has been my most successful one for bass so far. Don't want it to, you want it in the middle of the uh, the water indicator. Nothing, I don't even get anything on this one. So what we'll do now, we'll reel it in. And the other, one of the other ones you can try, which I have caught with, we'll go to the same spot. So we'll keep it nice and normal, is the twitch. So you just reel in at a slower speed and you just twitch it like that. You see, now it says twitching. Now this hasn't been the most successful technique I've ever tried to use. Uh, I've always found the stop go one a little bit better, but I've got twitching level three, or you know, three dots, which is pretty good. But nothing's biting. Okay, we'll putting that in. So they're, they're two of the techniques that I've learned. Thanks again to the community for all their help and support when uh, teaching an old dullard like me. Well, let's get uh, let's do our retrieval out of slight it's trying to get the pace right so you're uh... oh there we go I've got it all wrong I was going too far oh we got something come on whoa that's a young one I won't be able to pull a fully grown one out there we go let him tire himself out a little bit Yeah, another young one. 0.9. Put him back in. So there we go. That has been quite a successful. One more, maybe? No, no. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's switch over and look at the catfish now. Um, bass, we're doing quite well with. Catfish, um, I, I've. Uh, yeah, I've had a hit and miss time with catfish. So I'm going to stick that about 95 on rod one, 95. Going with cheese, because literally as I switched the camera off last time. I got one and it's like ah oh, typical um, and so I found with the catfish stick the drag on to about three and if we plonk plonk it not too close to the reeds just about there uh, this is where I was getting the nibbles so it's a completely different style of fishing this this is the uh, sit there and wait. Whereas the bass fishing is really quite um, active. And yeah, I, I know nothing about fishing. I'm I first one to hold my hands up and say I'm no fishing expert, but um, I'm learning slowly. And I have to admit, if I find myself with a spare 10 minutes, I'm firing this game up. I don't know, there's something solely addictive about it. Oh, it's twitching. Or maybe it's just bobbing on the water. We'll give it a little go, and if if we get nothing back from the um, from the catfish, the elusive catfish, then we'll uh, we'll maybe go back to the bass. Yeah, they don't seem to be interested. Not even a bluegill nibbling at it, which is a a rare old thing. Oh, come on. It's catching, as I say, the uh, the bass this morning have been amazing. And uh, the 
finishing off to I did recorded the last session. Catfish were coming out my ears. They were all over the place. They were young ones, mind. They weren't um let's reel this in. Alright, let's just do a slight alteration. So let's let's should we go down to a full ninety-nine? Uh these dobles, now these are Oh, they're not for um they're for carp and pumpkin seed and bluegill, as if you want a reason to catch bluegill. Um Small cut bait. Catfish like small cut baits. Let's try small cut bait, shall we? And stick it about there. Not too close to the reeds, we don't want to get it all tangled. One of the problems I have, especially with the lures, the lures, the lures, is that um, yeah, they snag and rip so easily. You know, you never, you never lose a hook with worms on it or a bit of bread. No, it's always the uh, the gold spinners. Got this cut bait there, yummy cut bait. Nothing's biting. Um. Bearing in mind the time window we had for the uh, the fish activity for this morning, if we don't get anything on this nibbler, I think I might go back to the uh, the bass. But the good news is, I have I am now level five. I've caught enough fish to get to level five. And that has opened up a new fishing location at New York. New York, New York, so good they named it twice. I don't know about the fishing, but we might check that out next time. I don't even know what they've got there, to be honest with you. And though I've heard rumours that they're also going to bring in some sea fishing as well. And if that's true, that would be very interesting as well. It's weird, isn't it? This game has really captured a lot of people. I've seen people streaming this all the time now. It's quite good. It's um, it's as I said earlier, it's very addictive, very calming as well. You know, if you if you've been playing a raging, juicing game like Darkest Dungeon, God, I love that game, but I hate that game. Um, yeah, to come come back and just chill for 10, 15, 20 minutes on this game. Oh, it's a wonder. Now those catfish aren't biting, are they? I thought I'd had something by now. Let's reel it in. We'll try a little bit closer to the bank, maybe. That's where I was getting them the other night. Um, risk losing our stuff on a snag here. If we get nothing on this one, we'll just do a last bit of um, bass fishing and uh, get a catch to end the day. It's always nice to end on a catch. No, it's just woggling in the water, in the breeze and the ripples. But we can we can mark. That's the good thing about this game. The audio on it is fantastic. You probably haven't been able to enjoy it because I've been yabbing on. Uh, as I can hear a ambulance. <laughs> tuning up. I hope that doesn't come out on the microphone going past. Um, yeah, the audio is, is lovely. You get insects, you have the bird song, you've got the wind rustling in the trees every so often, but also you get insects buzzing by, different types of insects as well, but they're not fr too frequent to become annoying, because I know in some, like, something like the hunter, there's flies in the uh, sort of the... Uh, I can't remember what the biome is, like the Australian biome, the outback biome, and... Um, yeah, the, the flies on that can become, they reoccur too often and they become annoying. Whereas, it, you know, it's, it, I've sat here for an hour before and I only heard it once. So it's got really nice, long, 
audio loops. And the graphics, my goodness, the water is just gorgeous. You got the birds bobbing in and out of those trees over there. Really well put together. Really well. And there's been a lot of comments, especially from, you know, proper fishermen saying it's not um, realistic enough, it's not hard enough, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, I'm not a fisherman, so I don't know anything about that. I'm not going to comment. All I'm going to say is I'm enjoying this game. And if that, you know, there's so many games we play which aren't realistic. Why does everything have to be super realistic, you know? I'm enjoying it, so I don't mind. Uh, so we're going to do a bit of... Uh, let's do a bit of stop-go. Do a bit of stop-go badly. Takes you a while just to get back into the rhythm. Now we're at 32, 20 foot. Okay, let's pull this out. Try that again. Now go on, let's let's end on a high. Let's bag another one. But yeah, aiming between the boats has seemed to be a very profitable place. And to get this obviously you gotta adjust your um your 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 real speed as well. time coming up to eight o'clock whoops didn't do that particularly well yeah the longer we go on probably the uh, the less active those fish are gonna get so we won't try too much let's try a twitch technique this time Going too fast. Twitching. No. They've all gone wise, they've all gone to work probably. They've finished their uh their little leisurely swim first thing in the morning. Did you hear that fly then? That was fly buzzing around. Right, come on, last time. I've just given it the big build up like this is the best place to fish. And now it's let me down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think everything's deserting us. I think time has beaten us for this time. So, one last go. It's the joys of fishing. Success followed by hours and hours and hours of nothingness. But we've had, I can't complain. I've had a really good morning in the old fishing. Because literally every cast I was pulling in a bass this morning. It was incredible. It wasn't quite that, you know. But it was, you know, three out of five I was pulling in a bass. But that was during its the perfect t uh, time of the day and weather conditions, so... Hmm. It's all gone quiet. Well, I never. Maybe it's because I moved to my lucky spot, which is right here. One last go, and then that will be it. I've embarrassed myself enough. The game's jinking me. I'll switch the recording off, and then I will have fish 
throwing themselves on the bank next to my feet. You watch. It, it always happens. You never capture the good stuff. I'm, I, only, I should probably set up something like... Um, is it shadow play? You can uh, then just... If you haven't recorded it, but it's still sort of tracking it, you can go back and record it. Or have I got that completely wrong? Probably. Okay, we're not going to get anything from this. Ah, oh dear. Well, we haven't had a bad day's haul. Where's my keep net? So, we got a large, and that's pretty much filled with um, large mouth bass, which are pretty good. What, what's the biggest we got here? 1.9, 1.984. 1.937, yeah, 1.984. Nice. Very nice. 15 XP. So, yeah. Um, oops, didn't mean to do that. I wanted to go back into here. That's my basic. That's all I've got is the basic license. So, I'm still playing on the old free to play. Um, I did buy myself a keep net, as you can see there. Otherwise, you have like a little, little set of hooks which go in on a wire and you can just keep them um, in the water like that. It's probably, is it that one? now as, as you can see I've got different types of I bought this line for the bass this is the bog standard stuff you start with I think is it let's have a look at the starting one yes it is um, but if you try and catch bass with this with this mono 005 uh, you'll just they'll just break the line every time they're just too strong so this is um, this has worked I wanted to get a braided line which is what is recommended but I couldn't see that in the shop um, it's maybe because I'm actually um, I'm actually on location rather than at my home base um, so that could be the reason why I can't see it in the shop because you, you don't literally just go on your phone and it gets you know Amazon Prime drone drops it next to you would be good if it did but it doesn't work out that way sadly um, so yeah I'm going to continue doing some fishing it's obviously going to get quiet and during the day um, but I'll leave you there guys so that's my technique of bass fishing um, no catfish today again the elusive catfish where are they who knows well I do know because I've been caught catch I've catched them in the past so catch them I've caught them in the past that's terrible English I apologize yep so there you go guys I'll leave it there that's been my uh, not my tutorial but that's 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 how I catch the bass with the uh, the two techniques the stop and go and the twitching with the uh, the silver and the gold uh, one third ounce spoons, so that's yeah, that's what I've been doing, and I ha have had a successful morning. You get the timing right. I realised I can't talk and do it at the same time, mind. A lot of concentration is required. Um, but yeah. It is possible, and you can have success on this riverbed. So I'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll probably do a couple more of these. I know they're mixed response, largely positive, but some people are just not interested. I can understand that. It's fishing, and it's real marmite, isn't it? Um, whether or not you like it or you, you don't. Um, but I'm I'm really enjoying it. Um, so I'm going to distort the water and make a load of noise and scare the fish away. Um, and I'm, I'm going to do a few more as I learn. I'll um, I'll do a few more videos, and uh, when you stop watching, then I'll stop doing them. <laughs> so it's your fault, really. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Thoughts and comments in the section below, and join me next time for more fun on the riverbank. I'll see you then.